In this video, I'm going to be talking about what I believe to be the best defense right now, and it's for one big reason that you might not be thinking about, and that is the ability to adjust to your opponent. Now, um, you can actually run almost any defense and make it effective. There's a couple key things that you need. I'm going to talk about them in this video, but before we do, I do want to say that we're in the 46th playbook. We're going to be taking a look at the nickel 3-3 Cub as to why I think this is one of the better defenses. I actually think this is the best defense right now uh, because of some of the things we're going to unpack here. But before we do, if you want to get my entire 3-3 Cub defensive ebook, everything laid out, all of the blitzes, all the coverage adjustments, all of the run defenses, end of half defenses, all of that stuff, make sure that you join the Patreon. It gives you everything that you need to become a better Madden player and start getting more stops on the defensive side of the ball. Patreon gets you access to all of the ebooks. So if you want to become a member, the link is down in the description below. So what is so good about 3-3 Cub? Really, I think you, if you can simplify it down to the most critical reasoning as to why 3-3 Cub is the best defense in the game, it's because of its ability to to adjust to whatever the offense is going to do. Whatever offense you're facing, this formation can handle it. If you're going to be a heavy run set, this formation can handle it. If you're going to be a bunch set, this set formation can handle it. If you're going to be a compression or spread set, um, this formation can handle both of those. Defenses in this game, especially Madden, you have to be able to adjust your defense. And so you can actually run 3-3 Cub significantly differently depending on the abilities that you're running, depending on your style as a defensive player, all of those things are factors, but what I wanted to talk about today is how you can run the same basic defense, but actually completely different defenses out of one defense, and that's what makes, I think, 3-3 Cubs so effective. So we're in the 46 playbook. I'm going to give you a, a cool uh, little defense here for bunch and for tight, something I've been working on uh, for tight that's going to be really good for snap throws. Uh, for some of the snap through wheel routes that you're going to get out of tight as well as the corner routes uh, but anyway we're just going to come on the field here and show you first and foremost what the offensive meta is right now and how 3-3 cub is a really really good counter now uh, why come out in nickel 3-3 and audible into 3-3 cub basically the same exact reason i just shared is that it's going to give you better adjustments let me just quickly show you so if i come out in 3-3 cub and let's say i come out in the play mike blood zero if i at this point you'll see here that this guy is actually a defensive lineman. So let's say that I put DeMarcus Ware in coverage on the running back. As you can see here, he's guarding the running back. If I crash my defensive line, now DeMarcus Ware is blitzing. So he's technically, the way the game treats him is he's a defensive lineman. My linebacker, even though it's 3-3 three, three cub, it's actually like 4-2 cub because I only have two linebackers, right? This guy and this guy. Now another reasoning is you'll see here, if I want to man joiner up, I can't man him up on the left side of the screen I can only man him up on people on the right side of the screen or the running back now if I come out in the nickel 3-3 you're gonna see a significant difference not only do we get really good personnel on the field and the fact that we can put safeties at linebacker which I do recommend that you do that because linebackers don't animate right we all know that um, you get better personnel on the field but you also have what I what I say is better adjustments so when I audible down here you're gonna notice that number one if I zone my linebackers now I have three linebackers right if I crash my line it doesn't affect the two linebackers on the edges and so what I can also do is these linebackers are actually considered middle linebacker so if I was to man up the right side linebacker I can now man him up on anyone on the field I don't have to worry if he's on the right side of the field or the left side of the field this allows me a lot more versatility in terms of the adjustments that I might want to make uh, based off what the offense is doing right and that is the biggest key to defense is you whatever defense you run you have to be able to adjust to how the offense is going to be attacking you because bunch is going to attack you differently than tight will. Tight is going to attack you differently than spread will. They might be going to the same parts of the field, but different receivers, and they're going to get there differently. That's why you have to have a defense that is able to adjust on the fly. And this defense also, not only can it adjust on the fly, out of this one defense, I can play man, I can also play zone, right? I could do stuff like this and almost turn this into kind of a zone defensive look, um, which is super underrated because when you can take a man coverage and adjust it into a zone coverage, 
Now what that starts to do for your defense is it makes it so much less likely that your opponent is going to know you're in zone coverage. Why? Because your base coverage shell is a man concept. So we could do something like this, right, and then just manually back this guy off, and now all of a sudden we've got you know a great opportunity to play some good defense. Or we could roll it this direction, right? Uh, we know how good cover three is to the wide side of the field, so this right here is going to give us a really good shot at taking away some of the different concepts that bunch is going to run now where this is also really effective is the same defense you're not going to always run the same adjustments that you run against bunch against tight this is what another thing you're starting to see is in the madden uh in the madden tournaments people are audibly from bunch to tight or from trips to tight right so what they'll do is they'll come out of bunch but typically relatively quickly they're audibly into tight and now you've got to change your entire defensive formation well what mike blitz zero allows you to do is it's going to consistently move your formation so you're not going to have to flip everything right um you'll see here so like when i go to match coverage now i've got you know something like this or maybe i want the when we want the slot corner but the slot corner is the only one that moves uh whenever you flip flip a play which i think is actually very helpful um in the big picture of the defensive scheme the other thing is, if you want a really good coverage for tight, it's, again, the ability to make adjustments, but also the ability to make adjustments relatively quickly. Because I'm on the same user every single time, don't underestimate this, it's actually really important. Because I'm on the same user every single play, then I'm going to give them this look, and then I'm going to have a lot of time to be able to change my coverage. So a coverage I really like against tight, that's going to do a good job of taking away snap throws, is manning up the cornerback that is on the uh, right side on the running back. And then what I can do is take the safety and man him up on the outside receiver. And then I could take the other safety, or in this case, the nickel corner, and man him up on the tight end. So you see it kind of looks like this. What happens is a lot of people are used to being able to say, okay, I can just run you know, slot pose, for example, and just throw this quick throw wheel. Well, when we're in a set like this, right, now all of a sudden this guy is lurking that wheel route and you've got the potential to take away something that a lot of people are kind of not really wrestling with in terms of adjustments you can make. So when you're in the same defense and you're running, you're running uh, this kind of base coverage, but then you're adjusting out of it, it makes it so that you can actually make adjustments, right? This is one of my, you probably know by now, this is one of my favorite adjustments against Bunch, this little simple scissor adjustment on the left side. But did you know that you could also do some kind of interesting stuff on the right side? When you start to back off this Bunch side corner, you're playing what's kind of called uh, lock and level. Essentially, we're gonna press one guy and we're gonna have two guys over the top. So what we can do with something like this is we know that the tight end is the guy that's going to be on the wheel or the good flat. So we're going to take the slot and we're going to man him up on the tight end. And now we're going to man this guy up here. And you can start to kind of change who you're manning up, why you're manning them up. And you'll see that it's going to start to change how they're going to play in these different defenses. So adjustments are super, super important. And when you run the 3-3 Cub, you get probably the best adjustments because not only can you do stuff like that, but you can also do stuff like this, which I really like, where we're going to go ahead and we're going to put two outside thirds on the field, but then we're going to take these linebackers and we're going to cross man the other two receivers, as you can see right here. So now everybody's cross manned across the board. Um, and then the beauty of this is let's say they run a play like mesh post. Now it's going to look wide open, but oh, now you got a guy lurking in that area and I can potentially click on and intercept that. So please don't underestimate the power. One of the things, I love this nickel 3-3 formation, but because you have to move people out, right, it can be a little harder to adjust out of. It has very good pressure, like very good pressure. It's hard to find better pressure. But 3-3 three, three Cub, what you can do is not only can you get pressure, but you can actually go through and make really quick adjustments with this formation. And I think that's one of the biggest keys to this defense. And what makes it so powerful is its ability to adjust to whatever the offense does. So please, whenever you're going about putting your defense together, don't 
underestimate the value of having the ability to make significantly high volume adjustments and also having a plan for how you're going to adjust to the most popular formations in the game. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to get more on some of this stuff, make sure that you join the Patreon. 10 bucks gets you access to everything over there, including all of our eBooks. I believe adjustments is one of the most important pieces to effective defense, and we give you a ton of really good coverage adjustments in our eBooks. Coverage adjustments where you're sending five or coverage adjustments where it's a max coverage look. Those all factor in. So make sure that you check out the Patreon. The link is down in the description below. 10 bucks gets you access to everything. Thanks for watching, and be sure to go check out the Patreon page.